This is One on One. Linda Gimodi is the Executive Director of the United Way of Ocean County. Linda, thank you for joining us as we continue this discussion about how we can, how those watching can make a difference for those who are struggling the most. Ocean County devastated and impacted in a way that others weren't. Again, Munaki and, and uh, other communities up in North Jersey hit hard, but particularly down in Ocean County. Describe what has been going on as we do this during the holiday season and what people need the most in the role of the United Way in helping. Well, thank you for having me. The opportunity to share a little bit about what our experience has been and what our needs are is really important right now. Um, Ocean County was hit very hard by the storm. Um, much of our barrier islands were severely impacted, but any, really everywhere between trees and utility problems and um, just the sheer number of people who needed to be evacuated and who were living in shelters for some time. You know, the, there's a website that we have up. Do we have two website folks? Okay, there's one, the, the uh, sandyrecovery.org, and also the multi-state website, which you said is uh, the one that's being run out of New York. Describe that. Mm -hmm. Why are there two websites, by the way? Um, the website that we've given you is our United Way of Ocean County website. Our mm -hmm. organization um, is geographically committed to Ocean County. That means that the money we raise and any resources and work we do is located in Ocean County, right. New Jersey. The recovery fund, though, what we've seen across the country is that United Way has wanted to help across the country. It's a, it's a national network of services, service providers. So, and excuse me, because we're seeing it in multiple states, yes. that is why we have that Absolutely. number up. So if someone, someone goes onto that website, someone wants to contribute, mm -hmm. that money goes to it goes, a larger it, area? It can. They can earmark it for wherever the most well, need can. is. They can pick a state that they would like it to do, and then there's formulas. I, I think what the system has learned is that when there is a major crisis, we really do need to find a way to give people an opportunity to make a difference in their community in the easiest way possible, and that recovery fund does allow that to happen. Make it clear exactly what the United Way does because we had representatives from the Red Cross on. Yes. We, we talked, to, as I said, to the First Lady talking about the new initiative on behalf of the state, the governor and the First Lady and Senator Bradley and others uh, doing that. What is the role of the United Way and how is it unique? Um, our role, it, pr even prior to the hurricane, we mobilize the caring power of the community to make a difference in our community, to raise the quality of life for our residents. And that um, Break occurs that, down in, a little bit. Um, that occurs through um, funding that we provide under education, income, and health. Um, what we know is that we, if we raise the educational impact for our children, poverty decreases, unemployment decreases. So we fund programs specifically designed for that. Income, of course, based on the fragility of our economy over the last several years, our income category is how we funded emergency programs, employment services, that kind of thing. But, and, but, but for the storm, health. I mean, mm -hmm. help people understand. It's something different. I mean, we right. know different United Way right. executives across the state right. and across the region, but there's some, make it clear, Linda, how this is different, how the United Way would play a different role and help people in a different way because of this storm. I think because we had been doing mobilization work in our community, we were the natural conduit for people to call us. People who wanted to donate trusted our organization. And I think that put us in a unique position to be to, to continue that mobilization one step further, to help with emergency services. We received donations from across the country um, of food and clothing and water and all kinds of resources that we then redistributed out into the community over the last three weeks. That was one of the primary things that we did in the last three weeks. And then we also received calls from people wanting to volunteer. And so we identified locations that people could help looking, um, looking at shelter services, who can help with meals, who can help with other kinds of distribution, who could help us get these resources out into the community. What will be a, is interesting long term. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about, it's interesting, the United Way survives, mm -hmm. just like the Red Cross and some <laughs> other organizations, largely based on private donations. Fair? We do. Employee giving campaigns are one of our largest okay. ways. Mm -hmm. If, in fact, Hurricane Sandy also has a negative impact on the economy, mm -hmm. if jobs are lost, if businesses are cutting back, what is the potential impact of the resources, of the dollars, of the revenue coming into the United Way to do the important work you do? Well, we do know that our business partners have been impacted, and they are um, the majority of the funds we get are from our business partners. and so. 
that we, we will be challenged. And, and the need has never been more because those very same businesses now maybe won't be able to employ some of the people. And so the need will be greater at a time when our resources will be tighter. And that is why I think the recovery fund and the work that we're doing in the community is so important because we're going to need to supplement that work. And it's and our, our mission is to move into recovery and rebuilding activities. And there's, we're going to need resources for that. Um, that's, all, that's the work that we do is community building, identifying needs over the long haul and finding ways to respond to those needs, seeing who is a good match. Some of the things that we've done is literally bring maybe a trucking partner in with a partner who, dish, who has food resources. And so how can we use those two pieces to get these resources out into the community? Um, and I think that's, that's one of the things that we do well, um, but we know that that's going to be challenging over the next three to six months, nine to 12 months. It's gonna, it could be longer than that. You know, it's interesting. Before we end this program, you just, just mentioned something, three to six months six to nine months. Do you think people are ready, Linda, to acknowledge this could be years? Could I, yes, I think that. I think that those time frames, that there'll be different things that we'll be working on, um, mm -hmm. but absolutely, it, it's, it's gonna take years. They, they know that. Um, in terms of FEMA has come out and spoken to us about the long-term impact. We know mm -hmm. rebuilding some of those businesses that were lost are gonna take time. Well, the United Way is doing important work, okay. uh, along with the Red Cross and, and, and Governor Christie and, and the First Lady and others. I want to thank you for, for joining us. And thank you. finally, to those of you, uh, we'll do our part in public television. As hard as it is for you out there, try to find a way to give to those who are suffering and struggling these tough times with Hurricane Sandy. Thank you. Thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, founded by the Jewish community, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, auto insurance, homeowners insurance, and banking under the principle of stewardship. Wells Fargo, Cone Resnick, Forward Thinking the law firm of Gibbons, PC, and by MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey. Promotional support provided by NJ Biz, All Business, All New Jersey, and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association and its monthly magazine, New Jersey Business. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.